Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, it's day two of my four day weekend and I want to continue on with the painting today. I also got to look into something uh, about rehanging those lights again. There's a little something weird in there that I'm just not really happy with and I'm going to try and see if I can figure out some better way to deal with that. So let's get going on this. Now one of the things I want to do here is uh, I noticed when I put these lamps up in the hallway that the breakout box itself is a little bit loose in there. It is actually connected to the frame up there, but it's connected with a couple of nails and the nails weren't driven all the way home. And uh, I tried seeing if I could pull them out and replace them with a screw, uh, but I couldn't get the nails out in that close quarters. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over to Michael's uh, art supply store and I'm gonna see if I can find like a little wooden plate that's a little bit bigger than the hole. And then what I'll do is I'll drill holes through that, drill a big hole in the middle so I can bring the wire down. But then I'm gonna attach the, uh, attach the plate that, uh, that the light mounts to, to the bottom of the wood. And that'll kind of secure all of this together because it'll pull this and the plate together. And I think it'll result in a little bit better solid uh, connection for these lights because I don't like the fact that, the, that because this breakout box is loose in here, um, the light kind of tends to wobble around a little bit. These are the lights are relatively expensive. I'd rather that they not fall out. So, like I said, I'm going to run over to Michael's and see if we can improvise a solution to this. Now, this piece here is exactly what I'm looking for, but the problem is they only have one of them. So that's a little disappointing. I wish I could find two, but I did find these. This is a little bit larger than I need, but I can work with that. And you know, I kind of like the fact that it's got. A little bit of uh, routing along the edge. What I was thinking about doing actually is maybe getting these initially and then just routing it myself but I think I'll just go with this one. This will work over here and they got two of those so we're gonna go with that. Okay so I spent about 10-15 minutes in the garage and this is what I've done to these plates. Basically I drilled a big uh, two inch hole in the center of each of them. That's what we're going to run the wires through. This is actually the bracket here that connects to the light fixture and I noticed that this little ground screw here uh, kind of sticks through a little bit so I drilled out a little hole on, e on each one of these plates for that. And what, then what happens is this kind of fits here over the hole like that. I'll pull the wires through here. I've got a little little wiggle room to uh, you know go down with my uh, grounding screw if I want to do that. And then the two screws that connect into the uh, into the uh, breakout box in the wall will go through here. Now the screws that I've got are long enough that they'll actually go all the way through this and still have plenty of uh, teeth to grip onto the onto the um, breakout box on the inside. So what that's going to do is that's going to pull everything together because it'll pull the breakout box uh, solid with this thing and this will just make it a much more uh, solid uh, platform to mount those lights from. Uh, next thing I got to do though is I got to paint these. And I think I'm just going to spray paint them because uh, that'll look fine and uh, it'll be quicker than trying to pull out the brush and get, on, get into all the corners with this. All right, so single pass with uh, some spray paint. Uh, this is kind of Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's probably not exactly the right thing, but it'll, what it'll do is it'll kind of give this a plastic appearance. It'll have kind of a glossy uh, shell to it. And uh, I think that'll work out real well. We may have to hit it again with another coating, but we're gonna let this dry for a little while and go in and repaint the rest of the hall. All right, so I got the uh, second coat done on the ceiling and finished up the first coat on the wall on the right. So we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna put a second coat on in here and uh, clean up the lines a little bit. I'm kind of thinking right now, I might actually do something different with the uh, coloring of the crown molding. Uh, I don't know yet, it may be one of those things that I get all the posters up here and see what it looks like first, but uh, maybe, a, you know, some other color here might kind of uh, make this room pop a little bit. Like I said, uh, I'm kind of painting it a kind of a boring color because uh, most of what's going to be here is going to be the artwork. And that's kind of what I want people to focus on. And I'm guessing probably about 80% of this wall is going to be covered up with, uh, with posters and stuff like that. So that's why I chose uh, just such a bland color like white. But like I said, we're going to let this dry for a little while now and we will go, uh, go back and hit it with a second coat.
I've also hit these things with a second coat of the paint because I was seeing a little bit of the grain of the wood coming through, especially like on that one. You can still see it a little bit, but uh, I think this will probably be fine now once this gets a chance to dry for a while. All right, so there's the first of those uh, two pieces that I improvised to connect onto the breakout box and make that a little more secure. I think this is gonna work really well. I was a little bit concerned that there might have been a gap between the ceiling and this thing. So what I actually did is uh, put a little white caulking compound on the back of it. So that just kind of pushes into it, makes it nice and smooth and makes it look like it's uh, one piece and it was designed to be there. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. We're gonna go hang the other one and then I'm gonna come back and put the brackets on. We can rehook the lights up now because it's all dry up here. So yeah, this is what I mean about the caulking compound. I just kind of put a thin layer of it all the way around the edge and then when I uh, screw it onto the wall, that just kind of all squeezes out on the edge and it forms just a nice tight seal between the wall and this piece of wood. And that just, I, I think it just, it's just a neatness thing. It makes it look like this piece was actually originally planned to be there, when in reality this is just some gross improvis improvisation I did. Okay, now that I got these things up here, I'm really glad I did this. This was a good move. This thing is nice and solid now. There's not gonna be any problems with the lights wiggling around up here. This was, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did this. Very simple, just a simple solution, and it solves the problem. I'll never have to deal with this again. Yep, these look much better now. And you can see, you know, how, how the whole mechanism now looks, uh, it actually looks like it belongs there, right? Got all those lights going now, they're both working again. Uh, so it's gonna get a little easier to paint in here now. Um, so like I said, I got the ceiling uh, done with two coats. I only have one coat on the walls, so let's go put another coat on the walls and then we'll be pretty much finished in here. Well, I've made a lot of progress today. I still am not quite finished with the painting. I've gotten to go do one coat along the uh, crown molding on the top on both sides. Kind of went around the doors, but I got to go, do, go along the baseboard here because that isn't done. Uh, I got to go around this door. Still got to hit the gray section there. And uh, a couple things over here. I haven't hit the gray in this section yet. I got, like I said, another coat all the way around the top. I've uh, got to do another coat uh, in here because that's obviously a first coat and that's unacceptable. And like I said, all the way along the bottom here, I still got to hit that. But uh, it's about 6.30 at night, so I think I'm going to call, call it a night for tonight. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. This won't take long to finish up and then we'll, we'll start putting posters up. Uh, beauty is I'm to a point now where I can take the tape off of the outlets and the switch plates and uh, have all my lights working again. So. You know, uh, I really had to kind of criticize the people for, uh, you know, uh, painting around the plates rather than just taking the plates off. Now I got to clean those plates up because the plates have actual paint on them. That was what caused that little stuff to stick up uh, there. But like I said, you know, it takes more time, I think, to paint this stuff, you know, and just not do the proper prep work. You know, it takes, it took me five minutes to take these face plates off and tape them up. Uh, and now it's going to take me longer to clean the, the face plates uh, before I can use them again. But whatever, you know, that's just, that's not how it's done. So anyway, I think that's all I have for tonight. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you tomorrow on Escaping the Mouse. Good night. You have anything you want to add? No? How about you? All right, have a good one.